Hi there! I'm Cez Orenia Drilon, a multimedia journalist for over 30 years and now an organic farmer, an entrepreneur, and a content creator too. I was able to manifest my dreams and so can you. So stay tuned and discover how you can manifest your dreams into reality and celebrate living. Welcome to FWD Manifesto. Let's get started. Ready to roll, Derek? There are a lot of hurdles that you encounter when you're just starting. When I had to choose a course for college, I chose Business Administration and Accountancy. Parang yayaman ka sa course na yun. I did not know what I wanted to do. I was really clueless. And it was when I was already working in public relations for a restaurant and my father, who I think knew me more than I did, urged me to apply with MBS4, then Maharlika Broadcasting System, the government channel. And when I was exposed to the newsroom, the hustle and bustle, the energy, I felt this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. This is this is my calling. And when you're young, you cannot really know what it is you want to do. But I think the secret is get to know yourself first. So of course, in the beginning, tinatapon yung script ko sa basurahan. My on-camera presence, I also had to work on. You can't be shy. You can't be. Laging sinasabi sa akin, lagi mo ng libog. <laughs> I mean, it's a term that's used in broadcasting. Lagi mo ng energy which I did not get at first. It's important also to, to be mentored by people you look up to and whose work you admire. It's important for you to get their points of view, to be able to critique your work, to teach you the rope. You know, I was very diligent. I did the hard work. I woke up early. I went home late. I mean, I was... I babad ako ng newsroom. I think you're rewarded because you never know when something breaks. One of my biggest um, scoops also was in 1993. It was early, and there was an assassination, daylight assassination of Joe Pring. We were the only ones. Me and my crew were the only ones there because it was early, and suddenly we heard gunshots around and so my camera was filming from the front seat of our crew cab and I told him Bumabaka, so you can get better shots but then the, the gunfire seemed very close to where we were so I dove to the floor of our crew cab and the next thing I knew I could hear a voice saying ibigay mo ibigay mo yung camera the gunman sped away with the camera and, and when we investigated what happened, I saw Joe Pring prostate, you know, lying on in the driver's seat. And at that time, I was wishing my eyes were a camera because there was no one else. It was just us. But I went on air. And so after that, all the media agencies came rushing to the hospital where he was taken because of my report. Once you discover what it is that you are passionate about that will excite you, then maybe it's good to have a plan. You have to commit to uh, the demands uh, of time. The pressure, the pressure is immense. I think it is good to read biographies or autobiographies of successful people. People who defy the odds, people who have achieved the amazing thing. So, you know, it's important to start now. Time is a very important element of success. Success doesn't happen overnight, but over time. And the earlier you start, the more time you have to learn, to build, and to grow. 
Thank you for watching. Catch the next FWD Manifesto episode in order to learn to grow what you started. I'll see you next time. Thank you.